Imagine finding your dream home, only to discover it's a haven for hundreds of bats. Would you still sign the papers? In the world of real estate, every purchase is a significant investment, and sometimes potential homeowners face dilemmas that test their resolve and their wisdom. Such is the case with a story unfolding in Florida, where a buyer is caught in a precarious situation with a townhome infested by bats. The question here is, should the buyer proceed with the purchase or just walk away, maybe even run away? So here's the situation. A 30-year-old individual who doesn't have much experience with handiwork recently had an offer accepted on a two-bedroom, 1,900-square-foot townhome which was priced at $400,000. However, during the inspection, a severe bat infestation was discovered, preventing the completion of the inspection. Not only was this a known problem by the HOA, but it also affects several units in the subdivision. So this has been happening for quite some time. And here are some key problems. Bats are protected by law in Florida, meaning no removal actions can be taken until a specific date, which in this case is August 16th. This contract is supposed to close in the next couple weeks. Also, the initial estimate for cleaning up and repairing the bat damage in just one unit could run up to $75,000, of course depending on the extent of damage. This figure doesn't even take into account the potential costs associated with neighboring units, which also need remediation to ensure the problem doesn't keep coming back. It appears the seller and their agent failed to disclose the bat infestation during the sales process. For this lack of transparency, this is a significant red flag. What other issues do they know about? What's more is the HOA even knew about the issue. This is another red flag for an HOA that probably isn't going to be very effective going forward. Additionally, the finances of the HOA must be looked at and scrutinized, especially in light of Florida's current real estate insurance market, which has seen a dramatic increase in costs. It's in my overwhelming opinion that walking away from this purchase is a good idea. The sellers being unreasonable, the potential health risks associated with bat guano, and the general overpricing of the unit makes walking away a pretty easy decision. If you were to stay in escrow, you do have the right, most likely, in your contract to review all of the HOA documents as a contingency in your contract. If you find something you don't like in there, this is where you can back out of the deal. You want to look at meeting minutes, you want to look at their reserves and their financial statements. And also, you're going to have to have another inspection after the bats are removed. This wasn't a full inspection, and there are probably more issues. The journey to finding the perfect home can have a lot of unexpected challenges. If you encounter a situation like this, weigh your options carefully, seek expert advice, and never compromise on your safety or financial security. If you guys have some stories like this, put them down in the comments. I would definitely love to hear about them.